Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Hein and I'm a product manager at Mitutoyo Europe in charge of small tools and data management hardware. Maybe you already know the so-called one millimeter error which arises if a measured feature is around plus minus millimeter different from the nominal. So in this video, I would like to show you how to avoid the misinterpretation of a measurement by using an indicator with a special design. I would like to show you an analog one revolution dial indicator with a balanced dial face and a so-called out of tolerance zone. Despite the fact that digital indicators are becoming more and more popular, refer to their ability to send measured data and other instrument related data to external system, for example, for statistical process control, dial indicators are important as well refer to a cheaper price, no power supply and easy readability. The one revolution design is a typical example of where an analog device proves its strengths. This is a multi-revolution dial indicator with a 10 mm range. That means we have a long pointer with a scale interval of 10 micrometer and one revolution of this pointer is equal to one millimeter plunger movement. This is the long pointer. The short pointer has a scale interval of one millimeter. This is a short pointer, which is the revolution counter. This type is commonly used in various applications and is very popular as a standard product. However, if the application is a good not good measurement in a stand, perhaps in a production line where the measurement has to be done very quickly, the multi-revolution type can cause the so-called one millimeter error. This error occurs if the workpiece feature under measurement is approximately one millimeter bigger or smaller than the nominal. Here, the feature and its nominal is 12 mm. Therefore, if I measure a workpiece dimension of 13 mm, the error can occur. The unskilled operator forgets to pay attention to the small pointer that indicates the full millimeter and just reads the long one which shows the feature inside tolerance, referred to the tolerance marks. Workpieces with features around one millimeter smaller or bigger, referred to the nominal, might be judged as okay. If this is not discovered, this can result high costs. To avoid such kind of misreading, one revolution indicators are a better choice. These are equipped with a dial face with a red out of tolerance zone to indicate that the measured part, respectively a measured feature, is clearly out of tolerance. A short pointer is not available and as soon as the workpiece is out of tolerance, this is indicated regardless of any one millimeter deviation from the nominal. Here you can see some different designs of one revolution dial indicators Mitutoyo is able to provide. Usually a bezel diameter of 57 mm is common to use. We offer 100 micrometer, 10 micrometer and 1 micrometer scale interval. Ingress of protection IP64 refer to IEC 65 to 9 is standard for applications in a harsh environment and a bezel diameter of 40 mm for applications in a narrow range where space is limited. Types with back plunger design are available as well. 
for more comfortable readability, for example, in custom-made jigs, indicators with a backward plunger orientation make sense. I hope this video gives you a good overview of the difference between a multi-revolution dial indicator and a one-revolution type with an out-of-tolerance zone. As soon as the application is a good, not good measurement and there is a risk to get a one millimeter error, a one-revolution type is always a top choice. Please contact me to Toyo or one of our partners if you have any questions regarding our indicators. Thank you and stay healthy. Yeah.